हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज वीडियोस वर्ल्ड चैनल टुडे वी स्टार्ट स्टैट प्रो बेसिक टू एडवांस ट्यूटोरियल सीरीज डे टू इन डे टू वी एनालाइज ए सिंपल सपोर्टेड बीम ऑफ 10 मीटर स्पैन एंड 20 किलो न्यूटन लोड एट सेंटर एंड वी कैलकुलेट द सपोर्ट रिएक्शन shear force diagram bending moment diagram and deflection let's start first we click on new project select space and the file name is simply supported beam unit meter length in meter and force in kilo newton next ok when I uh, select units this message appear because the default unit of this software I select foot and kilo pound that's why he this message appear you click on ok select add beam finish first we have to make a 10 meter span beam so it's very simply click on 0 and 10 and close the grid and now click the front click on the front view this is a 10 meter span beam second step is support pin support both side both ends now go to general when you click on general uh, uh, here you see the different options when I click on general here we click on support then we go to the right side and click on create and click on pin and add already here one support s1 means no support we use this no support for remove the support we create s2 pin support here we have four options to assign this pin support to the beam joints so we have four option first assign to selected node second assign to view third use cursor to assign and fourth assign to edit ok we discuss one by one assign to selected node means first we select the node then we click on the assign and the support is assigned to that support which support you select ok second option is assign to view if you select assign to view and click on assign he assign pin support all the nodes appear in the screens if you click on use cursor to assign then click on assign it means your cursor is ready to assign support when you click on the node if you click on the assign to edit list it means he wants the number of the node where you assign this support example we have two nodes one nodes here and one node here not visible if you want two nodes visible press shift plus k shift plus k shift plus k is uh, shortcut key for hide or visible nodes now uh, we see the nodes if you want to know or you want to print uh, node number on the nodes then you press shift plus n this is node number one node number two uh, and we I want to assign this pin support node number two we write here two and click on assign the support is going to the assign to so we have four option always uh, to assign anything to the structure if I will click two space one and then assign this support assigned to one and two nodes okay the first step modeling second step support third step 
property of the beam means material and cross section is not given this problem so we assume material is concrete and cross section is this 300 mm and 600 mm okay we assume this so we for property we go to the uh, property option above the support then again go to the right side and click on define then we select the shape of the cross section now we want rectangular and go to the rectangle and input the dimensions y d means depth 0.6 Uh, meter we assume z is width 0.3 we assume material is concrete we have all we have more material but uh, we choose concrete add close now this property assigned to this beam this property assigned to this beam we have four option like support so we choose use cursor and assign and click on the beam r1 means reference one the property is assigned the first step is modeling second step is prop support third step is property fourth step is load we have to assign 20 kilo newton load close sorry 20 kilo newton load at the center and the load type is pin support sorry point load okay here we uh, understand this the load case load case means what type of load dead live load wind load snow load earthquake load these are the load type so first we define the load type so we assume this is dead load so first we have to make a dead load case after dead load under dead load what type of pattern this load under dead load what type of pattern under dead load we have point load of uh, what intensity 20 kilo newton and which direction y upward or downward downward so this data we uh, have to know okay so first of all we make the uh, dead load case then uh, under dead load we assign the point load and under point load we assign the 20 kilo newton intensity and direction y downward let's start go to the load and definition and go to the load case detail in right side click load case detail and add here you select a type these are the types of load we select dead we assume this 20 kilo newton is dead title of the dead load is dead add close this is the load case under this load case we have to um, add a point load so click on dead load and again add now these are the patterns so self fed nodal load member load there are many load pattern and so we have we want point load or concentrated force so this force we have two types of things here first is node and second is member and the point load assigned to member so that's why we go to member load in member load we have many patterns of load and we have want to concentrate a load and what intensity minus 20 minus 4 downward and which direction y direction and d1 d2 means d1 means where the position of the load is 1 meter from this uh, this end 1 meter from this end 2 meter of this end if load assigned to center there is no need to put value d1 is automatically at center d2 means eccentricity in width you see in picture so add close now here is load and you see here a question mark red red question mark means this load is created here but not assigned here 
so you want to assign this lot to the beam we have four options choose any one we choose assign to edit at here put beam number one and assign this lot if you want to load value here press shift plus v this is the load value the first step is modeling second step is support third step is cross section and material fourth step is load case and load and the sixth step is analysis so for analysis you have to take a command perform analysis for every structure in at least one time you have to uh, give the command perform analysis from here analysis and print when you click on analysis and print this window is appear uh, in this window first option is select no print means when you select no print add and analyze the structure the output file on in, in the stat pro is no nothing print if you select load data only uh, load data means point load dead load this data is available in the output static means static check static load mode say both all means all data available in the output so we click on all and add and close then go to the analyze analyze done zero error one warning means uh, a morning about the support is not uh, support is not balancing okay okay first we check the bending moment you have to you have many option to check bending moment first you click on the beam double click and go to the tab shear bending and when you click on shear bending this is the bending moment minus 442.54 kN meter at the center if you want to shear force click on this shear this is the shear 20 kN is load to 10 and 10 the shear forces already if you want to deflection click on the deflection tab and local deflection in y direction this is deflection point 140 the first way to check bending moment and uh, deflection double click on the beam second way you go to the post processing and here you click on the deflection this is the deflection button but deflection is not showing here because the deflection very small that's why is diagram of deflection is very small you want to enhance the diagram of the deflection you click here press control button and um, rotate this coral of the mouse this is the enhance the diagram now you want to value of the deflection you check in the tables here is deflection is point here you check point one four zero but you want to uh, print here go to the result view value and beam result and deflection annotate this is the Deflection in inch because default unit is inch and kilo pounds. Okay, if you want to bending water, bending moment diagram, first you uh, uncheck the deflection and click on the moment in z direction. This is moment diagram. You want to enhance the moment diagram, click here, control press control and rotate this coral. This is diagram again. Go to the result view value, uncheck the deflection, check the bending moment, annotate. This is the bending moment. If you want to shear force, click on FY and enhance the diagram. Same way, result, view value, beam result, shear force, click on shear force, uncheck of bending moment, annotate. Okay. Here, one thing you see here the bending moment diagram is correct, deflection is correct, but shear force diagram is not correct. The correct shear force diagram is this. So this is the error in the software and in, uh, uh, in eTab also this error. If you see shear force in the graphics on the screen, this uh, some error in shear force. If you want to correct uh, uh, diagram, double click on this and go to the shear tab and here. This is the shear, correct shear force diagram. If you want to the reaction, uh, in post processing you click on this here reaction. I will check the reaction 10 kilo and 10 and 10 kilo. Okay, so this is the small a basic uh, tutorial of STAT Pro. If you want to 
another tutorial or uh, another options or advance about step for you comment share and like uh, video and you want to tutorial of other software like etap sap sap i know many uh, youtube viewers comment to want sap 2000 tutorial and safe tutorial and tecla tutorials uh, but i uh, think that uh, first of all we finish the all tutorial all about this tad for uh, basic to advanced hindi to english and then we start other software because my pc is uh, not uh, performance is not good and i don't uh, uh, have I, i means i don't uh, do not install all software on this pc first of all we make the all videos from state pro then we install the state pro then we install the e tab and safe and then again and yeah, and then that's where we make the tutorial so thank you for this video for watching and commenting thank you